Hello everyone. Today I have my empties and half empties to share with you. Um, <laughs> Cash is laying beside me and he's snoring, so if you hear that, I apologize, but I'm not gonna wake him up or make him move. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get into the empties. Um, I melted mostly things from my melting basket um, but I did end up switching it up toward the end of the week last week um, and I will touch on that at the end of the video but um, I'm just gonna start with things that I melted and didn't finish um, the first thing here this was not in my melting basket but this is circus bread from the bathing garden um, i just did one cube in my tea light warmer this was amazing it was so strong it smelled amazing um, it did have kind of that like strawberry zucchini bread feel to it i've heard a few people say that and i do get that it is a little bit more yeasty to me um, than zucchini bread but yeah this is really good it's a really nice strawberry i didn't tell you the notes you see fruit cake strawberry and vanilla are the notes and i love the strawberry in here and next time this is offered i would probably get a jumbo clam of it but i'm excited to melt through this and obviously i can just do one cube in the tea light warmer at a time so this will last for a little while it filled my whole downstairs um so yeah really really good Um, I melted some, oh my goodness, summer rain from the pharmacist's daughter. I just did one piece in my tea light warmer, um, and this was really nice too. This was a little bit lighter. Usually when I melt the pharmacist's daughter in my tea light warmer, it's super strong. Um, this was more of a medium performer in there. It's so pretty though. The notes are rain, whetstone, sage leaf, and blue sugar. I'm a big fan of rain and sage together, and this was no exception. This was really, really nice. Um, I don't know if I'll finish this up in the tea light or in my bedroom, but I also don't know if this is one that I need to repurchase. I love so many fresh blends, rain blends from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, like, I would probably throw this in if I were making an order and there were there was a small like shape or something available um, but it's not one that i need to like search out or order a loaf of um, but it is nice um i also melted some cafe crema or cafe crema i'm not sure um how to pronounce that but it is espresso zucchini bread marshmallow fireside and marshmallow fluff i melted this in my living room dining room and entryway i believe was it in the entryway i don't know it was at least in the living room and dining room and this was so nice this one i would probably get a loaf of i've mentioned several times now that i'm having trouble finding coffee blends that i love and this is one that i love like absolutely love i love the marshmallow fireside in here so i mostly got espresso marshmallow fireside a little bit of zucchini bread and then like the marshmallow fluff probably just added a little bit of sweetness but this wasn't overly sweet which is an issue i'm having with a lot of coffee blends but it also wasn't perm solution skunk coffee um which is the other you know opposite spectrum of the coffee this one is amazing that espresso oil is bomb i love the marshmallow fireside mixed in here this was super strong like 15 out of 10 i probably didn't need it in all of my warmers in here um but i loved it and it lasted all day it was actually it's actually still going right now um i put it in yesterday afternoon um and it's still going now it's more of a medium now um, but it was like a super crazy strong all day yesterday, all afternoon, all night. Um, but yeah, I would definitely grab more of that. Like I said, I would probably get a loaf of that one. 
Um, I melted some Blackberry Rain from Rose Girls. This is really pretty. It was super strong in my tea light warmer, and then I also put it in my bulb warmers in the kitchen, um, my Edison bulb warmers, and it did well in there also. It's so pretty. So I, um, if you've been watching, you might know that Black Rain or Jessica Jones from Super Tarts is one of my favorite scents ever from any vendor, and that is obviously Rain and Blackberry also. So I kind of compare them. They're completely different to me. Um, Jessica Jones from Super Tarts is more of a like super fresh Blackberry Rain, and this is a little bit more like perfumey to me. I love both of them and I, I would probably repurchase this one because I did really enjoy it. And I'm finding, you'll see in a second, I melted a few things from Rose Girls this week and I'm finding that Rose Girls is performing super well in this house as compared to the last house we were in. And I think it's also the fresh blends. Um, I did place an order, a smaller order in the pre-order recently and then they have a restock today that I'm hoping to grab a few things from. <laughs> My list is very long, but I'm hoping to at least just grab a few things. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking Fresh Rose Girls is going to work wonderfully in this house. So that's really exciting for me. Um, yeah, this did really well and I would repurchase. It's very pretty. But like I said, to me, that's more of a perfumey Blackberry Rain but I still love it. Um, oh, I wanted to look up the notes for this one. It's Midnight Rain. I forget what the notes are. I feel like it's obviously rain. I feel like I get lavender and maybe bergamot in here, but I don't know what else. And that could even be wrong, but that's what I'm smelling. And to me, it almost smells like a cleaning product. I think I've said this before. Um, it almost has like a little bit of a chemical smell to it. Um, I don't pick that up as much on warm and I, I do really like this on warm. Um, it was, once again, it was strong, um, and it was just really nice. It was kind of, I don't know if I want to say perfumey. I don't know, maybe a little bit. It, it just, it kind of feels like perfumey, but also a little bit like, uh, cologne, but also like fresh. And a little earthy <laughs> um, I don't know it's a really nice scent um, I would probably pick this up again it's not one that I'm gonna be like hunting down or like keeping an eye out for or requesting or anything but I would probably grab another mini melter bag of it now that I know um, these things are throwing in my house um, and then I melted some Moon Mario. I put this in all the bedrooms and the bathrooms upstairs and it was just so nice. It's still going now. I put it in yesterday afternoon. Um, it's very pretty. It's, I want to say this is American cream, pink sugar, oh, what else? Zen and morning sets maybe. I could be wrong, but that's what I think the notes are. And it's so nice. I, I like it even more on um, warm than I do on cold. But for me, I feel like I was mostly getting the American cream with the Zen. Um, so it was really nice. I've had American cream from a few other vendors and it's never a super strong scent. And I feel like it really came through in here. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I have a few pieces left, but I, I would probably repurchase this one also. Like I said, it performed super well and it was just a really nice, relaxing kind of blend. I would definitely, um, I would probably only use that in the bedrooms and the bathrooms, but it's a really nice bedroom scent for me. Um, the next one, this is the last half empty. Um, it's Jessica Jones. I was just talking about this. This is one of my favorites from Super Tarts. It's, it's called Black Rain now, um, just so you're not confused. It's amazing. It's just so fresh and like clean. I don't know. It's, I don't want to say clean and scare you off because it doesn't, it doesn't smell like a cleaning product um, or laundry or anything, but 
to me it just smells clean and fresh um you definitely get that like juicy blackberry but mixed with the rain it just comes off as a very fresh scent to me and i love it it's always a good performer i will always repurchase this one okay on to the empties um the first thing here is from vintage chic it is there's no place like home zucchini so pumpkin pecan waffles and creamy zucchini bread um this i liked but it was super light um even in the tea light warmer it was light and then in my edison bulb warmers it was lighter than that um so it wouldn't be a repurchase it is from 2020 toward the end of 2020. I don't know, I've always heard that the longer Vintage Chic sits, like the stronger it is, but I don't think I'm necessarily necessarily finding that um, with my VCS wax, but yeah, this would be a repurchase. I did really like the scent, but I remember, I feel like it was stronger when I first got it. I could be remembering wrong, but I don't know it just it didn't perform like i would have wanted it to so that won't be a repurchase my legs falling asleep um then the other one this is the last one um that wasn't in my melting basket everything else i had in my melting basket so this is witchy woman from teddy bees it's warm flannel blackberries and boardwalk marshmallow clouds i love this it's really pretty um, when I initially melted this, I mostly got the flannel, but as it sat a bit longer, I'm definitely picking up more of the blackberry and the boardwalk ma mallow clouds. Um, it's very pretty. And it's, that warm flannel is kind of, um, it's kind of a cologne masculine scent, but I don't know, mixed with the blackberry and the BMC, it's just it just changes <laughs> um and it's just a really beautiful scent um i would repurchase this i would probably just get a souffle of it again i don't know maybe something a little bit bigger i don't think i need a loaf of it but i would repurchase it um and it performs really well for me so i do really like that um then we can get into the midnight daydream that i had in my melting basket this is blue tree house aged cedar pine needles musk blue sugar and marshmallow mayhem it was a brulee cup so like a souffle um i just chopped this up and put it in all my warmers in the living room um the entryway and maybe even the back room um i just finished it all in one go because it is from 2019 so I just wanted to use it up and get it out this was a really really nice scent um, I love blue sugar with pine and the cedar um, just really pretty I did get a good bit of the marshmallow mayhem but I also got the musk yeah it's it just it blended really well and it was very strong in my living room dining room um yeah it was a good blend i i can't you know we can't get these anymore um because midnight daydream isn't in business right now um so i mean i hate to like talk at length about these but they're really good blends like honestly i had a, I had a really good week of melting um this one is spider cider wild berry cider and autumnal spices i do really like this it's just a really nice cider Ugh. and that's what it that's what it smells like like a berry like a deep berry cider with spices i enjoy this it performed well um i would repurchase if i could oh my goodness okay um pie crust warm flaky and buttery pie crust this was so freaking good <laughs> it smelled so good that's exactly what it is warm flaky buttery pie crust i don't know how i don't know he just has 
or had a really good pie crust. Um, it performed well, it smelled amazing. I would love to have more of that. Um, this one is Ghosts and Goblins, brown sugar cookies, mulled cider, and cranberry. I think this is the one. There were only one, or I think two this week that I didn't love from Midnight Daydream. I think this was one of them. It just, I don't know if it's the mulled cider or the cranberry. It could be the sugar cookie. I don't know. Something in here just was very off-putting on warm. On cold, I don't mind it. But I kept, I had it in the entryway and I kept going up the stairs. And every time I went up the stairs, I was like, what is that smell? Like, where is it coming from? And then I realized it was this scent. So that wasn't a favorite, but it did perform well. Um, Summer Love In, this one was really nice. Cucumber Melon and Copper Tone. I threw this in the tea light warmer. Just, it smells like summer so good um i mean this is probably one you could dupe from somewhere it's a really good blend if it sounds good to you i would say it, it would be worth um doing a custom of this from someone it's just it's definitely cucumber melon like bath and body works type with copper tone so it just smells like summer in the 90s it's so nice Okay, the next one, spooky season, sage and, oh my gosh, I forgot to look up that word, um, pin, pinion leaf, I don't know, candy pecans and mac apple. This was really nice. I put this in my kid's room. Yeah, the mac apple in here is so good. Um, but you definitely get that like candied pecan as well as that sage note. Um, it's just a really unique blend and it performed well and smelled amazing. Um, pumpkin King, homemade pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie and black magic apothecary. This was really nice. Also, um, his pumpkin pie is, was so good. Like it actually smells like there's pumpkin pie in this container right now. And then you definitely get Black Magic Apothecary is like an incense blend and you definitely get that. And it's again, such a unique blend and it just smells amazing. I put this in my tea light warmer and it threw super well. I also feel like I'm finding that um, all of these that have sat for quite a while have gotten incredibly strong. Um, so, I don't know, I've heard mixed things about soy wax. For me, I'm feeling like it gets stronger as it sits. Um, so I'm happy to know that the rest of my Midnight Daydream collection is probably going to perform well also, um, even though I've been hoarding it and not melting it. And this next one is Scream, Pumpkin Cider and Haunted Hayride. I love this one. I put this in the bathrooms actually, which I wouldn't usually put like a cider I mean, I guess I have before, but I don't usually like to put foodie scents in the bathrooms. But this one is actually like really pretty. Um, I don't know exactly what's in Haunted Hayride. But this, I don't know, for some reason, this is very pretty to me. Like I get the cider. I wish I knew what was in Haunted Hayride because it's just like this fresh, pretty, kind of scent um yeah this did well and i would get more of that if i could um cosmic vanilla velvet and intrigue i put this in the bedroom yeah this was nice this was like a medium performer in there and it's just it's just like a pretty like i feel like vanilla velvet velvet is a way like velvety is a good way to describe the scent um, it's very like smooth and just pretty in the bedroom. Um, it kind of had like an earthiness to it also, but yeah, I liked this one. It wasn't like a favorite, but I did like it. This one, absolutely obsessed. September, September, September sunset, fresh pear, juicy blueberry, spruce, Douglas fir, cedar, juniper, and white musk. 
So I don't know if this is one scent oil because it does remind me of something that Britta has also, and I can't remember what it is right now. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. This went for like two days in my bedroom and honestly, I probably could have let it go longer. Um, it was so strong. I, I would get a loaf of this. This smells like, it reminds me of camping, um, like in a cabin during the summer. That's what this smells like to me. It also, it also kind of reminds me. So my mama, my great grandma, she worked for the water company. Um, and every summer they had a water company picnic. She had been retired for quite some time, but you know, the retirees could still go to the water company picnic and bring their families. So we would go every summer. And this kind of reminds me of that also. Um, it was at this place like in the woods by the lake. Um, they had like a swimming pool and stuff. But this, it has this like, I mean, it says white musk. It has this muskiness. It's like that outdoorsy, like everything's damp, but it's summertime kind of scent. Yeah, I would get a lot more of this. Um, because it is a scent memory and also it's just an amazing scent. Um, but this does remind me of something from Britta's. If I remember, I'll try to find what it is. I think it's just a single scent oil that she has. Um, oh man, it's killing me. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. I'll see if I can find it. And if I can, I'll either put it in the description or put it on the screen or whatever. So just in case you want to try something similar. Um, smoked sage and marshmallow. Again, that sage and pinyon, pine and I don't know, and marshmallow fireside. I absolutely love this. Sorry if you hear, I think that's the street sweeper. Um, yeah, this was beautiful. Marshmallow fireside with that sage note. Mm, so good. So like cozy and comforting and it was very strong. So that is one that I would love to have more of. Um, this one, Molten Metal. Smoky Ozonic Notes, Vetiver and Red Cedar. All of that sounds amazing to me. I had to take this one out of the warmers. It like nauseated me for some reason. It smelled like cilantro, like metallic cilantro. <laughs> And I don't know why. Smoky ozonic notes, vetiver and cedar. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, but yeah, just smelling it now. I I can't. I don't know what it is, but that's exactly what it was, like a metallic cilantro scent. And I had to take it out of the warmers and put something else in. So it was super strong, performed really well, but just not a scent that I enjoyed. Try not to block that light. Um, this one, oh, I threw it at cash. <laughs> um, Little Debbie's Kitchen Oatmeal Sandwich Cookies stuffed with gooey marshmallow fluff. Um, I don't remember where I put this one or how it performed, so it smells really good in the container. Definitely get that, like, marshmallow... <sighs> I love oatmeal cookies and I can't have them. I should make some. I made some several years ago. I made some gluten-free ones and they were so good. I should make some. Anyway, I don't remember where I put this. It smells good in the container, but I'm thinking it wasn't like super impressive on warm. Um, this one, Halloween, a top secret fall bakery blend. I think I put this through the living room and dining room. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's in here. I'm gonna assume there's some pumpkin. But for me, it was just kind of a generic bakery blend. Um, you guys know I'm not a bakery person, so I think I really need <laughs> the notes um, to understand what I'm smelling. But I mean, it was nice, it performed. It just wasn't like anything super unique to me. 
Um, Aries, Woodsy, Cedar, Sandalwood, Mandarin Peels, Dates, Fig, Cumin, and Nutmeg. This was really nice. Yeah, it's a really interesting blend. Um, ugh, it smells so good. It's definitely, that, it's, it's that Woodsy Cedar. I get the Mandarin Peels and then those spices in there. It's not like super heavy on the fig. Just really nice. Um, I've said it a million times, but he just had really unique, special blends. Um, and the next one is Zucchini Bakery, Zucchini Bread, Bear Claws, Butter Brickle, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I put this in the tea light in the kitchen as well as the bulb warmers. And this was nice. I do, um, I do like Zucchini Bread and that, well, probably the Butter Brickle, but also the Vanilla Bean Noel gave it a creaminess. Yeah, and then there was a little bit, I think Bear Claws has some spice because I got a little bit of like a cinnamon from this. Um, it was really nice and it performed well. Um, this one, Mega Banana Walnut Muffin, Banana Walnut Muffins, Caramel Confection, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This one I actually didn't get a lot from and I was surprised because on cold it smelled super strong and it smelled like a realistic banana, which you don't come across very often, but it smelled like you just peeled some bananas and matched them up or like banana baby food. That's what it smelled like to me. Um, but yeah, I didn't get a whole lot from it on warm. I put it in the back room. I don't know, I just didn't perform as well as like most of these did. Um, I definitely feel like I'm missing one but it, it might have just fallen out of the basket. I don't know. Um, so then the rest of what I have is, I don't know, I need to move some stuff. The rest of what I have is Scentsy. And it was all from my melting basket. Um, okay. All right, so the first thing is goals i think i put this in the back room this smells good i don't know i couldn't even tell you what it is i feel like i get a little bit of a citrus i don't know if it's bergamot i don't know it's all right it was light nothing i need to have again um go go goji this was actually really pretty I put this in the living room, dining room, and yeah, it's like a really pretty, like fruity scent. Almost like, I don't know, sometimes I describe apple scents as having like a shampoo kind of quality, and I feel like I kind of got that here too. Um, I mean, I'm assuming this is goji berries, <laughs> but yeah, it had this like clean, pretty kind of fruity, like deep fruity scent. I did really enjoy this. It was from 2016 and it performed super well. So I would probably grab a bar of this if it ever came back. It's nothing I need to like stock up on. I, I wouldn't like vote for it to come back, but if it happened to, I would pick up another bar of it. Um, pistachio ice cream. This was really nice. I put this in the kitchen and the back room, I think. Yeah, I didn't get, like on cold, I get like a tiny hint of a cherry note from the pistachio, but on warm, it was just that nice, nutty, creamy pistachio kind of scent. It was nice, it was kind of light, um, and I feel like it was fairly similar to pistachio macaron. Well, it's called pistachio macaroon, but it has a picture of a macaron from Better Homes and Gardens. Um, very similar to that and I get really good performance from that one so I would probably just stick to that and if this came back I wouldn't need to pick it up but it was nice but it was definitely light um country plum I just finished this one up because it had a few cubes in it this one I kind of have a love hate relationship with it I sometimes I'm like this smells really good and sometimes I'm like oh, I don't think I like that 
I don't know, it, ha it does have that like deep plum note, which I do like. But it also kind of reminds me, my camera stopped. It also kind of reminds me of um, like a preteen deodorant, which isn't, you know, a scent that I love. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like, I like it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I wouldn't get any more of it. My mom really likes this one. So I gave her a lot of what I had left of it. Um, yeah, it's just, it performs really well. It's a strong scent. It's just not a scent that I love. Um, vanilla Walnut. This one was really nice it's from 2017. This performed really well. This, like, I guess it's nutty, but it's, I would call this like an earthy vanilla. I guess like an earthy nutty vanilla. It was really nice. I, again, I would pick this up if it ever came back. I don't think I would vote for it to come back, but if it did, I would grab a bar of it at least. Um, it performed well, it smelled really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, two perk me ups. I think one just had one cube. I put this in my back room, split between three warmers, and I got like nothing from it. It is from 2016, so that can be why, but some of these other ones are just as old and perform super well. So I don't know if you've tried that before. Is that just a light coffee blend in general? Or do you think it's the age? I mean, there's a lot of like oils left in the container. So maybe that's why. Um, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't. My lip is like on fire. One of those oils um, must have touched my lip. Anyway, yeah, that one wouldn't be one I would pick up again. The next one is Cedar Cider. Um, this is a love of mine. I I just love this one. So nice. It's that like beautiful cedar scent. That that fresh cedar scent is almost herbal to me. Uh, and then the the apple like cider in here. This is so good. This is a classic. You can't go wrong with this. Um, I, I pick it up every year. I should have put it in my club because you just never know when something's going to go away. Um, but yeah, if it comes back in the fall and you haven't tried this yet, pick it up. It's so nice. Always a good performer. Um, Adored. I think I put this in the entryway. I don't know what this is. Mm, it's pretty. It's kind of like masculine and, and like feminine like cologne and perfumey at the same time but fruity also I don't know it also kind of has like a wet dog vibe to it um I wouldn't I wouldn't get that one again and this one I have no idea what happened to this clam but puppy love um from 2016 I put this in and I had to take it out it's just ugh, ugh, I don't like it um, and I didn't like it when I first got it either. That's why I didn't melt it. No, it's like, I don't know, a super watered down version of something. Like, like kind of how sometimes fruity scents to me can be like super watered down fruit punch. This is like super watered down body care or something I don't know I think this might have green apple in it and that could be what it is I just it nauseates me I had to take it out um yeah I it performed but I wouldn't ever repurchase that one um okay so that's everything that I got through this week um I won't have a melting basket this week. Um, I'm not going to participate in the collab going forward. And I think I'm just going to kind of stick to myself for a bit. Um, I, I started making these videos because 
uh, just um, letting you know, if you're here for the wax, that part is done and I'm just gonna talk for a minute or two here. Um, so if you want to click out, of course that's fine and I'll talk to you later. Um, but yeah, I am gonna talk for a minute here. Um, I started this channel, I started making these videos because I just wanted to talk to you guys about wax. I wanted to share this love, this hobby, this thing that is just, I don't know why, but it just means something to me. Um, and I know it means something to all of you as well. That's why we're so invested in it. That's why it takes so much of our time. Um, and there's a huge glare on that. Um, I think I kind of lost sight of why I started doing this. Um, I've mentioned before to you guys that this really helps with my depression, my anxiety, um, and I think it does for a lot of other people also. Um, yeah, and I think I kind of lost sight of that for just a little bit. Um, I'm usually, sorry if you hear my son, um, oh my goodness. I usually um, am very capable of um, separating myself from things that affect me negatively or affect others negatively. Um, I'm usually I'm usually pretty self-aware and at least I try really hard to be um, and I try really hard to be a good person I try really hard to be a kind person and it's something that you know my husband and I we preach it to our children to be good kind people Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying really hard not to just like cry because I know, you know, that's not what you want to hear. <laughs> um, sometimes we can get caught up in things, um, anybody can. And sometimes you regret getting caught up in things, um, I'm just here to talk to you guys about wax. That's it. That's all I want to do. Um, and I enjoy getting to know people. I enjoy hearing about people's family, their lives, in their videos. Um, I know that's not for everybody, but I enjoy it. And I know some of you enjoy getting to know me and I appreciate that so much. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I just couldn't not say anything. Going forward, I am just going to remember who I am. Um, I'm going to continue to be a good, kind person. Um, I'm going to admit my faults, admit my mistakes, and that's really all that I can do. Um, I know that several people, several people are taking breaks from YouTube or from social media in general, and I totally understand that. I thought about doing the same, um, but I'm choosing not to let a situation or an experience take this from me because this is something that I love. It makes me happy. It brings me joy. Like I said, it helps me in more ways that I, and then I can even explain to you. Um, but I know some of you get it. So yeah, I'm just going to get back to 
what I was doing, get back to why I started making these videos. Um, and I hope you guys stick around. I'm not here to try to change anyone's perception at all. Um, we are totally all um, entitled to perceive things the way we do. Um, and you know, if your perception of me is different than it was before, that's heartbreaking to me. But I totally get it, I totally understand, and I'm not here to change your perception. Um, yeah, so that being said, I just want to get back to this love of wax and talking with you guys about it. Um, and I also just want to say thank you so much to the people who have sh shown me so much kindness and honesty and frankly just love over the last few days. Um, you guys are so appreciated. I am so grateful for you. Um, several people have said to me over the last few days that the people who matter will see me for who I really am. They'll see my heart, they'll see my intentions. Um, and that's really all I can hope for at this point. Just know that you all mean so much to me this community means so much to me. This love of wax means so much to me. And I don't know. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, I care about all of you. I want the best for all of you. And yeah, that's everything I have for this video, guys. <laughs> um, I am going to record a couple more videos today and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I did think about taking a break um, and I could still do that, but I just decided that today I, I wanted to do this and I wanted to talk to you guys and let you know how I'm feeling. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. For watching. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.